All right, welcome back. Tim Koenig Show continues from Muriel's Italian Kitchen, Route 250 in Fairmont with you till the top of the hour. Travis and Dwayne, pleased to be joined now by the president of Fairmont State University, Dr. Mike Davis, joins us on the uh, Tim Koenig Show. Good to see you, President. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Exciting, uh, exciting day. Yeah, uh, first day of classes. Yeah. It's a... Uh... It's like Christmas morning for a university president. Yeah, kids are back in, so that's uh, that's good. A lot of activity on campus, so yep. it's a good to see. So, kind of get us uh, get us up to speed. Uh, I think we uh, we talked to you when you were first uh, first on the job. Yeah, up at uh, West Liberty. Yep. yep, during the uh, during the halftime of the West Liberty game. So, uh, I know you're you're settling in, but uh, give us an update on, yeah. on some of the things that are mm-hmm. happening from the uh, the academic standpoint. So yeah, we're about uh, I'm about six months and uh, three weeks in, I think today. Um, so we're working on a lot of stuff. You know, we've got a good, uh, good first year class this year. So we're um, we're looking good in terms of enrollment, um, and we're starting to have conversations about what uh, some, you know, increased, enhanced uh, academic programs will look like. You know, music and theater are back this year. We're looking at new offerings um, in that area, and uh, and you know, we're we're having some conversations. I'll be down in uh, in Charleston on Monday, uh, having some conversation with the legislature, talking about uh, ways we can expand what we're offering. So it's an exciting time. I know that um, there's been a lot of talk about the challenges facing, uh, you know, many universities Absolutely. across the country. Uh, ours have not been uh, have not been untouched uh, from yep. that. Uh, but you know, I know in, in our uh, discussions uh, off air uh, before about uh, the the role that you feel that uh, this university plays not only in this community but uh, but in the state and in this region. Yep. Uh, it's a very important role. Yeah, and I think, you know, we've, we've done a really good job in Harrison and Marion County recruiting students. Um, we need to start having that conversation across the state about what um, Fairmont State has to offer. You know, if you look at, if you walk into the Falcon Center, if you walk into some of our other facilities, it it's beyond compare when you look at other universities our size. Um, so the question is, how do we spread that message to people who might not be on our campus all the time, right? We're really good at recruiting people who are on our campus all the time. How do we get people here or how do we bring them here virtually? Um, we're working on some virtual tours and things like that. And then starting after we've recruited in the state, looking into areas um, that border the state of West Virginia. You know, one of the things I've had this conversation with legislators is one of the ways we help our workforce is by bringing in people from out of the state. Because I think if people come here, and they spend four years here in college, they're gonna wanna stay. When they see what our community has to offer, um, when they see the job opportunities here, I think they're more likely to stay. So it's one of the conversations we're having is, how do we do that recruiting in the metro area um, in a way that helps the entire state of West Virginia? Okay, now. You wanna know where I bought the blazer, (laughs) don't you? No, 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 I'm not. Just 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 buy this time. Boz Boz costs $99, I'm telling you. You can get one too. How about they threw me on like trying to make fun of your vest? No, I I love the vest. I have a funny story, but I'm not not gonna tell that one on on you. Okay. (laughs) I I won't do that. (laughs) No, it's not, It's, it's when, it's when he told me, it's kind of when he told me without telling me that he's completely human and I, I laughed when we talked about West Liberty. You probably know what I'm talking about. You came in the booth that night. I will tell it. Okay. He comes in the booth that night and a monsoon had come through at West oh, Liberty. Yeah. That game got, yeah. got, and so he's there and he's excited and everything and he sees some of our fans and he goes over to say hi and talk to him and he sits down on the bleachers. Yeah. So when he gets to our booth, First thing he says, my pants are soaked. Yeah, I was up in their I was up in their president's box, nice and dry, and I, our fans were louder than their fans were for that game. I don't know if you remember, it rained right before, so it rained their fans out. Our fans were already up there, so our fans stayed, and it sounded like a home game for us. So I went down to sit with them, and then when I came back up, I was uh, yeah, well, I was pretty drenched. What I want to say though, and and here's something about him that, that a lot of people don't know, and I really love this. You had said. I want to go, I want to make one trip with each yep. of our athletic teams. And you've done that. You've yep, been absolutely. on the road with cross country? Yep. I went golf. up to, uh, to Pittsburgh. Yep. I went to uh, Avalon Lakes for golf. Um, I was the first, I'm the first president of the conference to go to the uh, golf. golf championship. Yep. And I, th- you know, how about that? I'm going he's, with, I'm he's going. Not, not just football, basketball, which, you know, that's, we know that. But I'm traveling with swimming on February 2nd to Wesleyan. Um, I'm making a whole trip of it, going up to West Liberty with wrestling. I'm going to hang out up there, meet with some alums on Friday, and then we've got the basketball doubleheader on that Saturday and later in February. So. And you're going with A&T somewhere, too. Yep, absolutely. I think that's awesome. Yeah, huh? yeah it's that's been great. a lot of fun. Yeah. That's good. And I've got, you know, the, one of the most, one of the, the really fun parts about that is um, the parents who I get to meet on those trips because they see me wearing Fairmont State stuff. And, 
you know, especially golf, they're like, Who's this we guy? know you're not one of the right. There's, there's, you know, yeah, seven, eight, five, guys. Five, five women, <laughs> five guys, and they're like, we know you're not a parent, so who are you? So I can't explain who I am. <laughs> Well, that's uh, when, when you were hired, uh, we, were, we were told that you were very athletic uh, friendly. But uh, it, in your words, the role of athletics on a college campus. Yeah, I mean, I think especially at the Division II level. You know, I came from a place where it was Division One, and I think sometimes the, the way we interact with athletics at, at a – at a Division I school is outsized, right? I think here, our students have to be student athletes, right? You hear our coaches talk about GPAs in ways you don't always hear them talk about it, and that's really special. Um, you see our, our coaches are involved in the community, they're engaged on campus, um, you know, and that's something we expect. Um, when, you know, when, when Greg Bamberger hires a coach, one of the things he talks to them about is, how are you gonna be engaged in the community? How are you gonna make sure people are involved? Um, you know, and I think there's no better example than our basketball teams. They're engaged, but I mean, all of our teams are. You see them all over town, um, all over campus, and it's really important to me. Um, you know, it's a marketing piece. It's one of the ways we get people to know who Fairmont State is and who we are. It's the easiest way for us to invite them in. We're going to find other opportunities to invite people in that aren't related to athletics, but I think it's the easiest way to get people on campus and get people engaged. If you were at the, um, the game, the women's game, on January 5th, I think it was, where we invited all the um, all the eighth graders to come mm -hmm. in. That was such an environment. I mean, it was yeah. that was something else, you know. Yeah, and no doubt. That's something we can do here. All right, before we let you go, did want to, to get a quick comment and update. Uh, one of the uh, obviously high-profile jobs is yeah. open at Fairmont State University, and that's the head football coach, as Jason Woodman uh, moved on yeah. to uh, to Moorhead State. And uh, again, congratulations publicly to him and his family. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, did a tremendous, yeah, tremendous job with this program. No question about that. Uh, but we're in the late stages of that process, yep. and uh, we've got, I believe, the final candidate uh, coming yep, up we tomorrow. Have one more public interview tomorrow, and then um, Greg Bamber will sit down with the search committee and, uh, and pick their finalist. And uh, I've given him my feedback on the different candidates, and I will tomorrow too. Um, you know, but Greg's Greg's a great at hiring coaches. If you look at his track record, he's done a fantastic job of hiring the right person for the job. Um, so I have a lot of confidence in him. And I think, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. It was a very popular job. We got a lot of applications. Uh, people are really excited. Each of the coaches I met with so far say it's the premier job in our conference. Um, so I think the you know the sky's the limit. You know, conference championships and beyond. Right. Very good. Well, hopefully we will have a. Uh, a name and maybe a body will have the uh, the new head coach stop by uh, the TK show here in a Monday or two. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. We'll uh, we'll keep in touch. I know we got the day of giving coming up, so we'll make sure to have you on uh, prior to that. Sounds so, good. Thanks okay. for having me. Sounds good. There is President Fairmont State University, Dr. Davis. We'll come back. Zion Dobbs will join us in the final segment. Tim Koenig show continues. Brought to you by Valley Distributing.